This is probably one of the most important videos I'll ever make on my channel. I'm gonna convince you that doing engineering for the money at first is totally valid. We do live in an economy and you gotta pay the bills, but there are some caveats and we're gonna address them. And then there's gonna be two points I'm gonna make in the end that I think are gonna change your perspective on engineering in general and how to make the most out of it and how to enjoy it to the best of your abilities. All right, let's get started. So let's start with one common advice we hear and that is follow your passion. And this advice is spot on if you like know what you're doing. For example, if you have like one absolute passion that you've been born with and you just like spend your whole day just thinking about that for like 10 years straight, then yes, absolutely follow that passion, no brainer. But for 90% of us, or maybe even more, we don't have one single concrete passion that we can just follow. So what a lot of people end up doing is just sit there, wait around, waiting for their passion, just magically drop from the sky. Spoiler, it never does. So then people look at one of their hobbies and try to turn it into a career. For example, in an ideal world, I'd get paid to play Rocket League. And that would probably be fun for the first like five days but in the real world i have to do something useful for other people and add value and sure you could argue that if i stream rocket league i could make money from it with this new internet economy but eh, i don't think i want to do that i probably want to keep it as a hobby because if you take a hobby and turn it into a career there's a big chance you'll end up hating it so i think a good model for finding a job is you want your ideal world to meet the real world somewhere in the middle and for me that middle ground is engineering for example when i look at rocket league why do i like rocket league i do like cars and i do like technology and i do like colors which means i love electromagnetic waves bingo that's an electrical engineering degree. And by the way, I did make a separate video on why I chose engineering. And I plan on making more videos related to that. So if you're interested, you can subscribe to the channel. All right, back to what we were talking about. Turns out that instead of waiting for your passion to magically show up, if you take one skill such as engineering and you get really good at it, the more you get better at it and the more you feel like you're making an impact with it, the more you actually develop a passion for it. And this is actually something I wrote about in this book. Wait, not this book. Why do I have that? Uh, something I wrote about in this book where I talk about how me starting out in engineering, I didn't really like it at first, but then through getting better at it, I started liking it, liking it, and now I absolutely love it. Instead of waiting for your passion to show up, go get really good at one skill or one profession, and the more you get better at it, the more you're likely gonna develop a passion for it. All right, so conclusion number one, it's totally okay to do engineering for the money. We do live in an economy and you gotta pay the bills. Do not let anyone make you feel like you're not pursuing your passion or you're not like on your quest to become a Disney prince. Start somewhere, build some skills, get somewhere, make enough money, and then decide what you wanna do. But and this is a huge but. Money should not be the primary reason you do engineering. Money is only kind of a nice byproduct of being able to solve problems and add value. Now we live in the world where these Grants and Jacksons dictate a man's actions. And this is the reason for much of the suffering in the world. This is the reason for much of the unhappiness in the world. You want to change that. And this is something that triggers me when I see people that are like, oh my God, what engineering pays the most? Like that's like the, sing the only criteria they're interested in. Like, and that's how you decide you're gonna choose which engineering degree. And here I'd like to make a very important point is that while one of the perks of being an engineer is that we have an above average salary, especially if you're doing like electrical engineering or computer engineering, which I talk more about in this channel. You should do engineering because you're curious, you like helping people, you like solving problems, and you like making an impact on the world. And being interested in technology obviously is nice. Love for math and physics is probably gonna help you, even though those are skills that you can develop actually, and it's totally okay if you suck at them at first. But if you don't care about any of the things I just mentioned, and the only thing you're interested in is money, you're gonna burn out, you're gonna crash and burn, and you're gonna hate engineering, and you're gonna switch to business. Business. All right, with all due respect to business majors, kind of an engineering inside joke. In fact, most business majors end up making more money than engineers for another reason to not do engineering purely for the money. All right, so in summary, we are part of an economy. You gotta pay the bills. You gotta support your family. It's okay to do engineering for the money at first, but money should not be the only reason. And hopefully what happened to me will happen to you is that as you get better and better at engineering and as you develop more skills in it, you start liking it more and you start being more passionate about it. And money no longer becomes something you're obsessing about because you have a roof above your head and you have food on the table. And you play Rocket League at night. Although keep in mind that I am no financial expert. I am just some random guy on the internet. So I'm actually curious about your input also. What do you think? Do you think it's okay to do engineering for the money? If you have any insight, please feel free to teach others what you know through the comments. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna go do some studying. Peace, love.